have noticed this semester that Dr. Fetters has been sitting in on uh, Mary Ruthie's cultural anthropology class. And what he's been telling people is that he's in there for some professional development to relearn some material that he studied during his master's degree. But upon review of a recent attendance audit of the last 30 years from the Higher Learning Commission, it's been brought to the attention of the registrar's office that he did not, in fact, pass the class. Yes, well, it's a shame. He showed such promise as a young man. So we had to void his diploma, and I had to shred it. Professor Mary Ruthie and I teach cultural anthropology. Luke Fetters is a student, well, sort of a student in my class. And I had him in class several decades ago when he was working on his undergraduate degree, and you'd think by now he would have sort of matured, but I find, you know, he falls asleep in class and he just puts random answers on his quizzes, like the choices are A, B, C, D, and he'll put things like J and Q. And he's, he's disruptive, he whispers to people in class. So really it's kind of a pain having him in class. You know in every class how there's like a pick-me-up student, you know? It's a student that just makes you look good and feel a lot better about yourself. That is definitely Luke in this class. He is, without a doubt, the worst student I've ever seen. He does all right on the quizzes, but I'm pretty sure he's copying off of me. We know the reason he does so well with quizzes and exams is because from one helps him with all his Oh, I don't know whether Luke will be able to pass my class or not. He's really kind of struggling. Maybe if he studies and does well on the final, he might be able to squeak out a D minus. But I think at this point, he's got the lowest grade in the class. Having Luke Fetters in class is kind of a bother because he's always showing up late, or if he is there, most of the time he's either staring outside or trying to talk. Um, never pays attention. He's always clicking his pen. He always walks in late. Never shows up when and when he does. He always causes a scene, never shut up. Yeah, overall very disruptive, not a very good student. I have to say though, I think Papa Fetters must be very disappointed in Luke because Papa Fetters is so intelligent and such a gentleman, so well behaved, such a good guy, and then there's Luke, and let's just say he's not. Luke takes after his mother. There is absolutely no reason or excuse that he should ever have a course that he doesn't pass. He needs to learn to apply himself. At his age, he should know what it takes to pass a course. Did I vote for Luke Fetters as Professor of the Year? I did not. Um, if there was a worst student in the year category, I definitely would have voted for him in that. I did vote for Luke Fetters just because we were in the computer lab and he was sitting right next to me and asked me to vote for him. I did not vote for Luke Fetters as Professor of the Year. Well, I told him that I voted for him, but let's be honest, I really didn't vote for him. Yes, I voted Luke Fetters Professor of the Year. I have to say, I'm just stunned that Luke Fetters is a candidate for Professor of the Year. Having seen the way he performs as a student, it's just difficult for me to imagine him actually teaching a class. Yeah, I'm really surprised that he's a candidate.